I, you know what? Being a Colt single action army guy, I kind of get excited just about anything that comes across my desk. Sure, I do work on a lot of new ones, a lot of third generations and second generations, but one of the big things that I, I like to see is a first generation that either needs to be uh, repaired like this one did, which is a tremendous amount of uh, work and fitting that goes into it to make that happen, or uh, just one that comes across the desk that the owner says, go ahead and make sure that you time it properly so it will last another 100 years. Well, as I said, this one here is made in 1898. And uh, what had happened to this one here is the, the hammer on it was a Uberti hammer that was in deplorable condition. The, the notches on the hammer itself were gone. It no longer would do that at all. It, 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 the notches were gone, so it wouldn't touch the trigger. Not only that, the hammer cam was in such bad shape that the the bolt, the legs on the bolt that go up into the frame here were in such bad shape that uh, nothing was touching. So now we got everything touching, found some used parts. Everything that went in this gun was either used or it was repaired in some way. Hammer got a new firing pin, got welded back up and hardened. Trigger got a new tip, a new sear on it. We uh, scout scrounged up a uh, a couple uh, a new bolt for it. Uh, oh, and a hand as well. The the hand that was in it, there was no spring, and it had been filed down so much it absolutely needed to replace. So found a used hand with an appropriate spring in it. The spring that goes back in here, which is the hammer spring or main spring, whatever you want to call it, that had been made out of something. I don't know. It was out of a either out of a revolver or a rifle or something. Uh, but really, the, there was nothing that was very salvageable in this whatsoever for it to work like it should. And uh, after a little bit of work and uh, a little bit of knowing what you do, it now works. So uh, the first click is the one that, that uh, does nothing but move the trigger into the safety notch of the hammer. And then what we have here is you can see the bolt the bolt is now engaged in the stop notch. That's one of those rectangular things there. Engaged in the stop notch. Well, as you start cranking back, a couple things happen. That bolt drops out of the way. The hand pushes on the rear ratchet pad of the cylinder, starts turning the cylinder. It also starts moving the trigger some because the trigger has to kind of move a little bit forward up top here, which makes it move backwards there until it go, comes over a little bit of a lobe in the hammer. Uh, to engage the loading notch. So we'll watch it do that and uh, take a look right in here at the bolt. The bolt drops out of the way and you can see right there the cylinder now starts moving. Nothing happens until the third click which is the bolt coming up into the the approach for the stop notch. Get the angle right there for you. There you go. Nice sturdy click where it hits the approach. And then your fourth click is simultaneous. It's the, the bolt dropping completely into the stop notch in the cylinder and your trigger engaging in the last notch on the bolt on the uh, hammer, which is the firing notch. That's all four right there. Locks up tight as a drum. And that's it.